Elon Musk is at war with Disney. Can he buy it? Well, I don't see why not. His net worth is a little bit more than Disney's net worth. So he could buy it straight out with his personal finances, or he could use X, or he could use Tesla and buy it. No problem. I have an article here and it says, Elon, can you buy Disney? Elon Musk has the internet on the edge of their seats with an unprecedented response. And if you saw the video, people were asking him what he was doing. And he goes, mm, thinking about acquisitions to get or uh, thinking about companies to buy or something to that effect. And people just went nuts over that response. Like I said, can he do it? Yeah. And because of Elon Musk's beef with Bob Iger and also backing Gina Carano with the lawsuit against Disney, I think Elon Musk could buy Disney and he'd probably do it just like he did X, just spur of the moment, you know, hey, look at me. So I have this article I want to read and go through with you. So let's check this out. I have this article from sportskeeda.com and it says, Elon, can you buy Disney? Elon Musk has the internet on the edge of their seats with an unprecedented response. And this was a couple of days ago on February 8th. And there he is. And it says earlier today, well, a couple of days ago, there was a rapid escalation in the conflict between Disney and Elon Musk owned X, which started with Gina Carano's controversial right wing comments that got her fired. After pledging to fund Carano's lawsuit against Disney for firing her from The Mandalorian, Elon Musk took to X earlier today to allegedly reveal some documents that implied that Disney's approach to hiring is discriminatory and in favor of inclusivity. Following this revelation, the conflict saw a chain of tweets from the SpaceX owner calling out Disney for mandatory institutionalized racism and sexism. Many fans came forward in support of Musk and even asked the billionaire to buy Disney and change the laws. Elon, can you buy Disney? You can make it shine again. Elon Musk gave a rather cryptic answer to this question, simply posting an emoji saying, hmm, or that's what I think it says. This could indicate that there may be a world where Elon Musk buys Disney, but this does not seem to be anywhere in the near future, mainly because of the immense valuation of Disney, which has only increased in recent years. But, well, let me keep my comments to myself until the very end, and, and I will talk to you about those. Um, yeah, stick with me, and I will give you my thoughts and ideas. Elon Musk's response to the possibility of buying Disney has many fans appalled. After Musk almost erratically bought Twitter and changed its name to X, many users had immense problems with the changes implemented on the platform. After the possibility of Musk buying Disney now, many such concerns have popped up again. Many people did not expect the Tesla boss to give a response to the suggestion buying Disney, which seems too far-fetched, but Musk responded with an emoticon that seems to indicate he is thinking about it. And then some of the tweets say, please don't then children will probably be replaced by adults. <laughs> he could buy a chunk of it. Don't think he could buy the whole thing. Not yet anyway, too expensive. Make it the blow X is. While this seemed to be the more common response, some fans wanted Musk to reinvent Disney and rallied online with slogans of make Disney great again. <laughs> Musk recent posts against Disney combined with the ongoing Gina Carano conflict seem to have really started at the question of whether the billionaire could buy Disney like he bought Twitter. An anonymous source just sent me this from Disney. It's mandatory institutionalized racism and sexism. Huh. And then they have all of this that you can go and look at. While not impossible for Musk, it's highly unlikely that Musk could buy the entire company. For one, it would be extremely risky financially. Disney could cost almost five times as much as Twitter did, and it is highly unlikely that the board would agree to his acquisition. Moreover, Disney's extreme high market cap provides another hindrance to this possibility. Disney's present market cap is around $180 billion, which is not far away from Musk's own net worth, which sits at about $200 billion. 
So in all likelihood, Musk cannot buy Disney, at least at this moment. But the battle between Disney and X, which directly relates to Gina Carano's lawsuit, will go on for quite some time as it stands. And that's it. So let's break this down. He's helping Gina Carano in the lawsuit with Disney. Somebody asks him about buying Disney and he has that emoticon. Hmm. And he pulls out some tweets that say that, you know, Disney has in institutionalized all these things. He has the money. He could get a loan. He could get partners and they could buy it. There's no reason he couldn't. He was at a premiere this past week with one of the board members of Disney uh, whose daughter was in, in a play, I believe, an indie play. So they were doing that. If he did buy Disney, what would happen? He would get rid of everybody, basically. And would he make Marvel and Lucasfilm better? Who knows? I honestly, in my gut, I feel like he would make it a lot better. He would, he would get rid of a lot of things that don't make Marvel and Lucasfilm better companies and better movies. There's so many things that would he would change and get it back to maybe where it used to be for the fans doing doing movies for the fans creating quality content and not trying to push any agendas on us hopefully we'll see when if if this if this happens and when he makes his changes if it happens to the different companies like Lucasfilm and Marvel <clears throat> on a side note I heard today that Kathleen Kennedy is so upset about this lawsuit with Gina Carano that she had a huge meeting with the board of directors and they're trying to send this response out to Gina Carano and it's just crazy I mean, why are they like so upset and flipping out? Is it because that they have uh, Gina Carano has the backing of Elon Musk and they can't wring her dry of finances in a, in a long, long drawn out lawsuit? I, I think so. I, I think Kathleen Kennedy realizes that maybe she might have fired her uh, wrongly. I think that maybe she fired her wrongly, you know, freedom of speech is a, is a good thing. My opinion, you know, you don't have to like it, but I still love you. Anyway, getting back to this, my personal opinion is I think Elon Musk buying Disney would be a great thing. It would get rid of a lot of things that I think are wrong with Disney right now and Lucasfilm and Marvel. And it would just, hopefully they would start creating quality content that all the fans could get behind and love. And then I bet Disney's stock would go out of the roof and their movie sales would, would jump up and that would appease the shareholders for Disney and they would probably be really happy about that. So that's my take on it. Let me know what you think. Do you think uh, Elon Musk is going to buy Disney? Because, you know, he's done things in the past where he said things and they weren't true, you know, uh, to like maybe raise up Dogecoin or talked about different things that never came to fruition. Maybe he had them planned, but they just never worked. Um, maybe this is just a ploy for him to get Bob Iger scared, Kathleen Kennedy scared. And uh, so he can go in this lawsuit and have them all rattled. But I, I don't know if, if uh, he hasn't come out and said anything. It's like that Empire magazine when they came out with their hello there and everybody thought it was going to be Obi-Wan and it was just them showing the magazine covers. Ugh. 
Mm. I need Obi-Wan Kenobi season two. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Topic is Elon Musk. I think he's going to at least try to buy Disney. Will he get the whole thing? I don't know. We'll have to see. We will have to see. We'll sit back and we'll see. You know, grab your popcorn. Let's see this big thing, this big showdown. I can't wait. Well, anyway, it's getting late. I got to go to bed. But thank you so much for watching. Come back for more Star Wars and sci-fi content, more live streams, which I'm going to be doing one this week, more live watch movie watches, and more Black Series unboxings. And remember, the Force will be with you always. And check out this video. I think you'll really like it.